Hi everyone, it's Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards and I just wanted to come on tonight and do a quick card share. Um, I am guest designing uh, tomorrow for Paper Sweeties, which is a stamp company out of North Carolina um, that my friend Debbie started two years ago. And um, the theme this week is fall and the colors are pink and green and um, a kind of a cream color. So I made this card, um, which I gave a sneak to you guys last week. And I, this stamp is called Emma or Abigail rather, I think this is Abigail. Um, oh, I always get the two confused, but anyway, I cut her arms so that she could be holding a little pumpkin. And if you want information about how I made this card and the stamp sets I used, you can go to my blog at greenwoodgirlcards.blogspot.com and the post will be up at midnight tonight for Paper Sweeties. Um, and I want to thank Debbie for allowing me to guest design and uh, for the $20 gift certificate that I won in her store during July um, that entitled me to be a guest designer. So um, I hope you'll go take a look at all of the posts that will go live tonight at midnight. There'll be lots of beautiful inspiration using Paper Sweetie stamps. And while I have you here, I thought I would also come back on and just show you the die that made those little stocking um, tags that I showed you in my last video. Um, so this is the die I told you it was by Marianne Craftables and it's Marianne Designs and then it's a Craftables um, die and it's a stocking and it comes with this little snowflake and cut out heart. Um, so three dies in all and the die embosses these little um, lines into the stocking. Uh, when you put it through your machine. Um, so you might want to run it back and forth twice or run it through again with your embossing mat if they don't show up on your machine. I have a Vegabond and on my Vegabond machine they show up really well because it's a very a higher pressure machine than some of the other ones. <clears throat> I'm sorry about my voice being so ragged tonight. Um, so anyway, this is that die and again I ordered mine off of, off of Amazon.com. Um, and then I'm still working on some tags and I think I told you guys that I was working on some mitten tags and I had made um, one card that I showed you the other day sort of like this. This is another one that I'm working on. I haven't embellished this one yet. But um, when I cut out the tag from the paper, I keep the, I forget what you call this, but the blank I keep the outline and then I use the paper to make cards um, and it's just a way of having your supplies go further and the other thing that's really neat about this is then if you give a gift and you're you want to tag for the gift and you're also giving a card with it um, you can hang this on the bag and then your card and your little bag decoration will match um, if you use a gift bag so I have an embellished um, this tag yet all the way. I've just put some trim on the bottom of it and I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to do. I have um, these little stamps from um, a special set from Lily of the Valley stamps in the UK and it has all these different Christmas sayings on it. So I'm thinking about maybe um, doing something like putting this on here like this and then doing a to and from on the back of the tag. Um, and then maybe putting like a little button here or, um, I don't know, some other type of, uh, little embellishment. Um, I don't know what I did with what I had sitting on there, but, um, I had a couple ideas like a snowflake or maybe even, um, you know, if not a snowflake, maybe a felt heart or maybe some little like holly leaves or something like that. So I'm still not sure yet how I'm going to finish these off, but then I'll put a, a string on them uh, to attach them. And then I've also seen where people will do like a to and from tag where they'll have the mittens attached by a string and they'll do two on one side and from on the other. And I have some smaller mittens that I might try that with. But um, right now I'm just cutting out different papers and different mittens. And um, I haven't gotten much further on that so far. Um, 
And then, so that just is to show you how that works with the, the, I forget what you call the remainder part of the thing. And then this is another card that I'm working on where I just take embroidery floss and I sew a design onto a piece of cardstock. And uh, I use a template that I got at, uh, oh, I got it online a long time ago from uh, Oriental Trading. And I still have the same templates. And uh, But you can also use a stamp, like if you have a stamp that you like, you can stamp it on vellum and then put it over the cardstock and poke, poke holes through it just to get kind of a design that you can then sew. But anyway, so I'm working on this card to finish it up. Um, and I'm going to put a little bird in here or something. It needs a little something else. So I haven't finished it today because i got to dig through my stuff and find a little bird stamp or something. So that's what I've been working on. Um, and then... I also thought I would show you a couple milk glass finds. I found this beautiful bowl at the thrift store this week. Um, and it's perfect for Thanksgiving. It's embossed like maple leaves. And it's a beautiful, um, heavy milk glass bowl. So I'm going to use that for a salad at Thanksgiving. And, um, and then I also found this little piece. Hold on one minute. Timmy, I'm in the basement filming. Love you too. Sorry, he just checks to see where I am in the house since Stu died. Um, so anyway, I found this little piece. Hey, I'm filming a video, honey. Um, and I think this is, you know, this is that, uh, oh, I can't think of it right now, but this is the, um, you know, the pattern with the little dots on it that everybody likes so much. And this was a little piece that I found at um, Savers uh, uh, on a different day than I found this piece. Um, this I actually found with the, that last thrift um, shopping that I did, but I forgot to show it to you guys. So I paid $5 for this bowl, and it is just stunning. I hope you can see the detail on it. It's just incredible. So anyway... Um, that's what I came on to show you tonight. Uh, <laughs> Timmy, uh, do you need something? No. <laughs> Timmy's very interested in what I'm doing. Um, I just wanted to know where you were. I know, I came down to switch the laundry and then I decided to film a video. You I'm filmed sorry, the honey. video after starting to make the laundry. Yes, what can I say? We better quit talking about this before this video gets too long and people start laughing. All right. <laughs> say goodnight. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, you guys, we'll be back with more uh, on another night. Bye-bye.